There are many different Bosch recipes out there, but this is by far my favorite. Here is the list of ingredients that you will need. I will also drop it in the description of this video. It takes about one hour from start to finish to make this recipe. And we start by peeling all of our vegetables. We'll chop the onion and the carrot into small pieces. We also need to shred the cabbage thinly. I like to do it by separating the leaves out, which allows me to cut out the thicker part of the cabbage, which sometimes has a, a stronger taste um, and we don't want it to overpower our soup. We want the cabbage to be nice and tender. And I find that grated beetroot makes the best borscht. Add a splash of oil into the pan in which you will be cooking your soup and add your onion and carrot and fry it for about five minutes. In the meantime you can prepare your stock here I'm using the vegetable stock, which is a vegan and gluten-free. Now, in a separate pan, add your grated beetroot and cook it in a little bit of water. Add crushed garlic to the pan with carrot and onion. To give the beetroot that sweet and sour flavor and also to preserve its redness, we are going to add a teaspoon of sugar and a tablespoon of vinegar. In the meantime, we will add a tablespoon of tomato paste into the pan with carrot and onion. You can also add some pepper for an extra flavor. This is optional. And to make sure that your vegetables don't burn, um, add a little bit of liquid water or some of your stock to the pan. Now we are ready to add a chopped potato um, and let the potatoes soak the flavours uh, before adding the stock. If you find that the proportion of liquid and vegetables is not quite right, you can add a little bit more water. Now we can add our bay leaf, which adds a really nice flavor to the soup. Now we can add the grated beetroot to the pan and we will simmer everything together for about 10 minutes. Finally, we are ready to add our shredded cabbage to the soup and simmer it for another 7 minutes. Have a little taste to see if you need to add any more seasoning. And let the soup stand for a few minutes before serving. And the 
final step, which is optional, is to get a few potato pieces from the soup onto a plate and mash it with a fork before returning it back to the soup. Uh, this will add a um, just a nice texture to the soup. And here we have a beautiful borscht. It's vegetarian, but it's full of flavor. Um, it's cooked with love. And um, one thing that you do need to remember how to serve borscht, it absolutely has to be added to the plate, is a, a spoonful of sour cream or creme fraiche and a sprinkle of dill or parsley. I normally have um, freshly frozen dill and parsley in my freezer at all times, so um, enjoy! Bon appétit!